Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, responded to the death of King George VI by covering his face with newspaper. The news meant Philip's wife was no longer Princess Elizabeth, the Duchess of Edinburgh but Queen Elizabeth II. The couple were visiting Kenya on a royal trip, as it was then part of the British Empire. Lady Pamela Hicks told her daughter on the India Hicks podcast, Philip just takes the newspaper and covers his face with it, hides behind it and says this will be such a shock. As she comes into the room, I think oh, poor girl, her father died. So I go over to her, give her a hug and think oh my god, it's the queen so I go into a deep curtsy and she says I'm so sorry, it means we've all got to go back, she was only thinking of all of us. Pamela also claimed Philip would have taken command as the professional head of the Royal Navy if he was not elevated to Prince Consort. She explained, Philip was superb because it was much worse for him, and of his career, he would have been first sea lord. He gives up his career. The death of George is mentioned in Andrew Tinniswood's royal book Behind the Throne, a domestic history of the royal household. Mr. Tinniswood wrote, Elizabeth's private secretary Martin Charteris, who was accompanying the couple, heard the news from a journalist at a hotel where he had gone to have lunch. He immediately phoned the Duke's equerry, Lieutenant Commander Michael Parker, who was with the Duke and the Queen, and Parker told the Duke. He looked as if you'd dropped the half the world on him, Parker later recalled. It was the Duke who broke the news to his wife. When Charteris arrived 15 minutes later at the Sagana Royal Lodge, where they were staying, he found the 25-year-old queen very composed he said, the absolute master of her fate. Philip's own life might have been very different if it were not for George's father King George V. Eric R. Dilderfield's book Kings and Queens of England and Great Britain highlighted the situation facing Prince Andrew, Philip's father in 1922. Andrew was in charge of part of the Greek army which lost territory to the newly founded Republic of Turkey. Mr. Dilderfield explained, in 1922, after Greek disaster in Asia Minor at the hands of the Turks, the Greek ministers in his office were executed, Prince Andrew, who had commanded the right wing of the Greek army, was awaiting trial with the certainty of death penalty following. Six of Andrew's since co-defendants were executed, this included two former Greek prime ministers and an army chief. Mr. Dilderfield wrote, George V sent an ambassador to Athens and secured his release. Andrew's wife Princess Alice of Battenberg was believed by some to be under surveillance from the authorities. The British government eventually sent HMS Calypso to evacuate the family, including a one-year-old Philip. They had to travel under Danish passports after Athens stripped them of their citizenship. Philip renounced his Greek and Danish titles in order to marry the Queen. The Duke's family background also involves German ancestry and he once said, if anything I've thought of myself as Scandinavian. Particularly, Danish. We spoke English at home. The others learned Greek. I could understand a certain amount of it. But then the conversation would go into French. Then it went into German, on occasion, because we had German cousins. If you couldn't think of a word in one language, you tended to go off in another.